Hi everyone and welcome. Today I would like to show you my reading journal setup. If you don't like this kind of content, don't worry, this will be the only video I make about this topic for the rest of the year. But I thought it might be nice to show what I came up with in case some of you want to start one for yourself. I'm not creative at all, so all of the pages I made are really simple to make if you would like to. Now, without further ado, this is pretty straightforward, I guess. You have the title page on the right, and then on the left, I left one page open to fill in the favorites of 2020, since I didn't have a reading journal last year, and I really wanted to have the most important list, in my opinion, which are my favorites of that year, somewhere to look back at if I want to. The next two pages are a visual representation of my goal for 2021. On the right are the actual books that I count towards my goal, while on the left I want to track my graphic novels, manga, comic books and those kinds of books. The idea behind this spread is pretty straightforward and I guess most people know this, but I will color in a book if I've finished reading it, and that way I can easily see how far I am towards reaching my goal, which is 52 books this year. As you can see, I thought that this book that is facing to the front would be 52, but I miscounted. At the bottom I have a progress bar as well, and each month I will change the color to fill this in, so I can easily see which months I read most and which months I almost didn't read. With these pages I'm not that happy, but I don't have any stickers, so I didn't really have an option to do anything about it, and by now I'm kinda used to how they look, so it's fine. On the left is a grid with one square per day of the year, so again a way to visually see in a glance if I read a lot or not. Every day that I did read, I get to color in, and I will try to color books of the same series in the same color, to also have a visual representation of how far apart I read books of the same series. On the right I have a page tracker to see how many pages I read each month, and to calculate my total page count at the end of the year. Here I have two pages to track how I'm doing with finishing series that I started back in 2020. As you can see, a lot of series that I need to continue or finish, but most I am pretty far into, with the exception of Wheel of Time, but I really don't plan to finish that one in 2021, to be honest. I just want to make progress and then I'll be happy. The other ones I would like to at least finish the ones that I only have one book left to read, and trilogies, well, it's pretty easy to finish those. The longer series, which is, well, basically only The Wheel of Time and The Song of the Shattered Sands, there I just want to make progress. This one I didn't really show completely. I had four pages in total, but these are the last two, and that's because these are the series that I want to start in 2021, and I am making a video about that that will be uploaded next week or maybe tomorrow, Sunday, so that I don't want to spoil too much already. As you can see, I also included an unplanned section, because I know I will start series throughout the year that I haven't even heard of now. So this isn't that much of a TBR, but more of a way to see if the series that interests me a lot now will keep me interested for the rest of the year. And I think it will be pretty fun to look in December 2021 if my plans remain the same or not. Spoiler alert, they probably changed a lot. So again, these two pages are basically the same as with the series that I want to start in 2021. These are the standalones. One of my goals for 2021 is to read more standalones than I did last year. Last year I only read four, which is really a little bit sad, to be honest. So next year I want to read at least 10, but I ordered 15 because I want to have a little bit of options. And then I also have the unplanned section for if I pick up a standalone that I didn't really know interested me at this point. Again, I think it would be pretty nice to look at the end of the year if I read any of these or if I just picked one on the go. And then this one is one that I will actually need to fill in, but it's a lot of work and I'm a little bit tired by now, but this is my long-term TBR. So I basically have around probably 100 books in total that are on my TBR that I want to read someday, but I just don't really have the time. So I hope that these two pages are enough to list them in order for me to not forget them along the way and to have a nice little reminder, especially towards the end of the year, which kind of books I might put on my TBR for 2022. Then this is a sheet for my anticipated releases for 2021. And as you can see, at this point, I only have one, which is The Empire's Rune by Brian Staveley. It comes out in July. Um, I didn't really like what I did with this page. It seems like a six-year-old made this, but well, it 
it's too late to change now and in the end I don't really have that many anticipated releases so I won't have to look at it that often which is nice. Then this is my physical TBR spreadsheet and I still need to fill this one in because I'm a little bit scared to look at all the books that I have on my shelves that I'm not even planning to read in 2021 which is a little bit daunting so I still need to do this. I think I have around well by now probably a hundred unread books on my shelf and not all of them are on my planned reads. I do have some books that I still need to buy. I don't know if that's smart but well here we are. So I still need to fill this one in and I hope that these two pages are enough. Maybe that wasn't really smart but we'll see when we get there. And then this is the page that I'm probably most scared that I won't have enough room. I only have two pages for the books that I'm going to buy in 2021. I basically have spots for around 60 books. That's not going to be enough but I do think that if I will buy books from the same series at the same time I will just write them down as one and then maybe I'll have enough space. On the other hand this might be something that keeps me checked and if I don't have any more space I shouldn't buy any more books. And then this is one of the last spreads for the general overview of the year where I will list all the books that I read in 2021. As I said before my general goal is 52 books. I think I will also put the graphic novels and the manga in here because in the end I also read them but they won't count towards my goal. I have space for around 60 books here so I do think that that will be enough because I don't really read that much manga or graphic novels. I think maybe 10 is the max so I will have enough space here and otherwise I will have to continue these pages a little bit further in the book. Then here I am going to put the stats at the end of the year so I don't know what I will put here now which is why I left these open. Then here I would like to put the disappointing books, top 10 books, favorite book for each month which is not the same as top 10 per se and then here a nice visual representation of the favorite book of the year. How I will do that I do not know by for now but we'll see when we get there it's still 12 months to go. Then here we have my winter TBR. I did make a video about this that I will link down below if you're interested. Then we get to January. If you can't read that this is January don't be alarmed I didn't really write it that nicely and I have trouble reading it myself but it's the first month of the year it can be that hard I'll decipher it. So the idea for each month is that I will pick a team based on my favorite book of the previous month or one of the books that I liked of the previous month and then draw my doodles in that team. So last month I really enjoyed 12 Kings of Sharkai by Radley P. Polio. That's a desert based fantasy so I try to make some desert based doodles. Don't judge, I tried my best. The title here I'm really not happy with. I was going for something completely different but that backfired so in the end I tried to keep it simple in order to not mess it up any further. So on the left I have a calendar for January. I don't really know what I will use that for, probably maybe to track the videos that I plan to upload. And on the right I have my book log, so the books that I am reading in January with the dates that I started and finished. So as you can see I just started to have the Half Drowned King yesterday and I have space for around six books which is more than enough because normally I read four to five books so the left page is pretty similar to a page that I showed you a little while back which was a page tracker for the amount of pages that I read each month. This is a page tracker for the amount of pages that I read each day. So as you can see yesterday I read 42 pages and today I still need to wait because I am planning on reading a little bit this evening. It's a pretty general overview and then here I can write the total and use that total for the page tracker of the amount of pages each month. On the right I just have a general overview of each day that I've read. If I read that day I get to color in the square. It's just something extra that I wanted to add and on the bottom I have some desert mountains or that's what I was going for. And then here this is just sort of infinity spread where I'm going to write the reviews. This is basically why I started my reading journal because I wanted to have a space to put all of my reviews uh, so that I can look back if I wanted to make a video about this because I will be trying to make videos more of finished series so if I'm reading a trilogy wait until I read all three 
and then give a general overview if the trilogy is worth it or not, instead of just making a video of the first one, because I really like it if somebody can tell me, yes, the first one was good, but the second and the third one were also good. Because if it goes downhill after the first one, I don't really want to start and commit myself to the series. So that's what I'm going for. I don't know if that will be what I'll do in the end, but writing reviews down then is very important because by the time that you finish the third book, it's probably been a while that you've finished the first one. So this one will be very easy for me and very important to go back and see what I thought in general. So at the end of the month, I would like to have a favorites page. So the favorite book of the month on display, but I don't know how much space the reviews will take up. So first I have to write all of the reviews, go to the end of the month and then make a favorites page. So basically that's all that I have for now for this reading journal. I hope you enjoyed and that you might have some ideas for your own journal. If you start one or if you already have one, please let me know. Let me know which of the spreads that you enjoyed and maybe which ones you thought were completely useless. And maybe I have some ideas from you what I can add to my journal as well. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye!